All right, how's everyone feeling about the new update? Kind of looks interesting, doesn't it? Some fun game modes, some new additions, new features. This week's challenge is army base, and let's try out one of those new features. Find the loot and get to the exit. Okay, we are bringing along Beta. First time using one of these star heroes. He is the leader. It's interesting that he started with a bad guy. But okay, he's going to be the leader. Let's see how this shakes out. Uh, I'm also bringing Maggie and Glenn, um, just because they are they are sort of my farming team. I want extra XP. I certainly want as many supplies as I possibly can. So we're bringing them along to get just that. So what does this mission have for us? Well, it's a get stuff mission. Oh, it's this one. Yes, definitely, as is very often the case, Glenn is going to be a bit of an MVP here. You've got armored walkers spawning. You know, that could, that could really be a problem for you later on in the game. So you want to get in there. You want to get out quick. You know, that tent is is it. That is where they are spawning from. That's where they're being chucked out. Don't forget that you can use, you can do things like that. If you have something like the Sawtooth Blade or uh, Swift Attack Weapons, where you get sort of an, an extra turn, you can use that to really stretch your movement for scouts, especially Glenn. And this is, this is what we're doing. We're just trying to get out of here quickly. There's a threat counter. It ticks over quickly. Therefore, you might want to just use melee characters. You know, you've got some explodey guys there as well. So that's a problem. That's probably going to be a problem that's going to hound us through this weekly challenge is explodey guys. But we shall see. Okay. But that one, yeah, don't forget that those armored guys are going to start spawning out of that tent. And you need to be able to deal with that. Look at that. There we go. We've got a bonus star. Kill walkers of a shooter. Okay, well, I'll do that. Do that some other time. Mm. Okay. What's number two? Weapons free. Kill all walkers. All right. I tell you what. Let's let's do this. Let's bring a let's bring a guy along. Let's bring a shooter. Okay, fine. It's it's not the weapon of choice that I would have, but okay. Yum yum with the uh, the bow. Beta, of course, leading. This, I mean, I like this star hero thing. I, I think this could really mix things up. This will be a chance for people to try heroes they otherwise wouldn't give a go. You know, I think it's, I think it's kind of cool. And I can see why the devs have done it, to encourage people to upgrade and use heroes they otherwise wouldn't use. Maybe invest some gold getting that done. I, you know, I... I, I certainly don't begrudge them doing that, so... Right. That, thanks for the ping. I thought I had switched no notifications on, but okay. So this, you've got walkers coming in each turn. Obviously, it starts off with certain types. You've got lots and lots of explosive guys on there. So if you are going to bring ranged characters, make sure that you've got enough firepower to take out those, those explodey guys. You don't need to worry about making noise. There's no threat counter. If you really want to know what is going to come in turn after turn, just rewind this video and you can see. But broadly speaking, it's, it's nothing that's sort of too threatening. It's just at a high level... You know, possibly you're going to get overrun. Oh, yummy. Double gold. Yeah, that's a nice machete, that. Hmm. I'm not going to be swapping it for my chainsaw, though. So a firing line, certainly effective on that mission. Probably better. Bring crippling weapons, rooting weapons. You know, just um, keep them at arm's length. That would be that would be my suggestion. That's how I'm going to do that. Okay, so this third mission, no threat counter. That's pretty nice. 
Okay. So we've got to get here. I think that when we open that door, I, I, I got a feeling that we're going to have some walkers going to sort of flood out from the top. Yeah, there we go. So you can see where they're coming from. We've got armoured walkers. We've got regular walkers. Not too much of a problem, but, you know, some of them spawn quite close to that gate. And you are going to need to be able to defend yourself. We'll have the firepower to take them out. Crippling could be really, really useful if you're playing this at a higher level. Definitely. You're going to want to stop those guys from getting to you. I mean, maybe maybe bruises, but I could I could see them getting overwhelmed. So so crippling weapons definitely. We're at a relatively low level, so it's not massively important at this point. But uh, there's something to look out for. You're just gonna you're gonna get a flood of walkers coming at you immediately as soon as you get to that gate. Make sure you're ready for them. Set up cordon. Slow them down. And get the heck out of there. Get to the door and get it open. Okay. Okay, so there's the door right up there. That's handy dandy. We've got a explosive guy absolutely ready to go right from the off. We've got an armored guy starting on the map. Can your Survivor selection deal with those. Oof. And we've got those those explosive guys that are just they're kind of a problem for you know range characters. They're also kind of a problem for close combat characters because if you get close to them, you don't kill them. You know, and you do have a ranged character, you might accidentally take them out. They can be useful for detonating near to other walkers they create lots and lots of threat so at high levels that is absolutely not something that you want you may want to take something like this which reduces threat yeah you're gonna have walkers spawning every turn you want to get to that door if you want to if you know if you're struggling you want to get to that door as soon as possible open it up and then when this happens and you've got no chance of fending them off you just get out of there so this is one sometimes missions definitely reward patience sometimes they reward haste and you just got to get out of there this this is kind of more on that latter scale you want to get to that door you want to get out of there maybe slowing down the walkers with crippling and rooting but uh, it's not a big map so you know, set the explosives and blew it up. Okay, we're bringing you, Glenn. And yes, I'm I'm just such a fan of the Sawtooth Spike. You might find me using it more often than the Bayonet Musket, which is still a fantastic weapon. But I just, I, I just love that thing. I love that Sawtooth Spike. It's just, it's just great. I mean, look at how far you can stretch across the map, if you so wish. Okay, let's get that open. As soon as we start doing that, we get bad guys spawning from the tent and from the sides of the map as well. And there is a threat counter. So there's 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 a lot of stuff here to you know to sort of unpack. That will blow up. Yeah, that will blow up the door. So let's get behind this safe wall. Blow it up. Yeah, and of course, that frees a bunch of other walkers because they don't want to make it easy for us. There you go. Okay, so I mean, this is this is definitely a tough... This can be a tough one. There's, there's walkers everywhere. It's, it's a very messy map it's hard to keep these walkers contained maybe you want to use, uh, you know this there's, there's definitely scope for using range characters because you can get a distance 
So you might find yourself up and close, up close and personal if you don't tend to use melee characters. That might be one to use them on because it's hard to get away from those walkers. They they can really jump on you, and you need to be able to take care of them. Okay, kill walkers with a shooter. Okay. Mash. Mobile Army Surgical Hospital. Come on, yum yum. Oh, normally I skip these, don't I? Alright, okay, well we're going through them in sequence. Kind of forgot that. I got got way too excited with the idea of using Beta as uh, as the hero. Normally, of course, I skip the missions just to give it a bit more challenge, just to uh, get some more stars. But, uh, hey, still getting a very good look at what missions are involved. Maybe have Glenn on your team, maybe have Glenn as your leader, so that everyone can search these, these crates and still have an action left. Got a threat counter, got some explosive guys, got some armoured guys. I know that this one can be tough, and you've got some blind spots there as well, so be careful of those. If you've got Michonne's cat, you know, charge your guys up so that they're ready for anything that might burst around those corners. And cover your arcs. Whether you want to keep your guys together to, uh, you know, so you've got strength in numbers, or spread them out so that you can search those cases and get the job done more quickly, that's up to you. Whatever you fancy doing. If you've got any particular tips for any of these missions, let me know in the comments. And as ever, thanks for watching. Oh, let's see what do we get. <laughs> okay. <laughs>